Hello, Auggies Worldwide. I, my name is Dave Kassler. I'm amateur radio call sign KE0OG, and we're here with another episode of Ask Dave. Be sure to read my column every month in QST, also called Ask Dave. And I have a YouTube channel, which you're watching right now, uh, which I put up three videos a week, plus a live stream. Okay. Now, here's the question from Lou, N9LTW, with a ground-mounted HF antenna. How far away from my ground radials does my coax need to be? I'm concerned with RF getting into my feed line. I'm going to bury my coax this spring after I install more ground radials. So, I guess my question is, how deep should I bury the coax under the ground radials? Well, Here's the easy answer. It doesn't matter. For all my uh, ground-mounted radials, I just lay the coax on the ground. Now, does that make the outside shield of the coax kind of act a little bit like a radial? And the answer is yes, it does. However, I take all my coax feeds to a central location uh, where they are grounded via a lightning arrestor. Okay, so none of that stuff that's on the coax exterior gets past the ground rod and therefore into my shack. So you don't have a problem with that. When you're ground mounted, the length of the radials does not matter terribly. I would try to have 25 or 30 radials, uh, get a roll of uh, THHN stranded insulated copper wire from Home Depot. And from that you can make, it's 500 feet of wire, you can make as many radials as you want. I would just say 20 feet long, 25 feet long. Uh, when I did the uh, DX Commander uh, antenna, uh, we did 30 10-foot radials. And they, uh, the thing worked absolutely wonderfully. So you can uh, make them with different... Uh, now, I do not recommend burying the radials. Leave them out on the ground. You can put lawn staples down. That, that, that's a thing, by the way, a lawn staple. Go to Home Depot or Lowe's. And it'll hold them right against the ground, stretch it out tight, and with, within a couple of years, the grass and undergrowth and everything will have grown over these wires. So, there you go. That's what I would do with that coax. I leave my coax out on the ground simply because I'm changing everything all the time. So, there you have it. If uh, you are watching this video and you're particularly interested in this series, go ahead and subscribe and click like. You'll get uh, three videos a week plus a live stream. Also, check out my column in QST called Ask Dave. You can send questions to AskDave at ARRL.org and they'll come directly to me. They're regular emails so you can attach um, pictures and stuff to them if you have questions. Sometimes a picture truly is worth a thousand words. Uh, that's AskDave, all one word, no hyphen. AskDave at ARRL.org because I'm part of the organization for email purposes. Okay. So there you have it. Until we next meet, 73.